arrived in Vancouver, Jonathan Van Tulliken, who directed our first two episodes, warned me before stepping out onto these stages. He said, just take a minute before you walk in, because you're probably going to get a little weak need. I mean, look at this set. It's, it's just breathtaking. I often forget this is Vancouver. I've never worked on anything with this many resources in this way and this much attention to detail. My name is Helen Jarvis, and I'm the production designer of Shogun. I think we got very lucky with our locations. This here is a site plan of the upper part of the same village. It is one of those sets that really feels like it belongs in the location. It doesn't feel like you went and put a set there. It really feels like it belongs. My name is Johnny Dale, I'm the construction coordinator. So many things wanted to be in camera, and it's been an absolute pleasure to build this much. So this is Osaka. So this is down at a location called Flavel. We went and terraformed everything, and then started building. So we created Osaka. Well, the first thing to do is to really design the spaces to be as flexible as possible. To try to get as many different depths or avenues, angles that you could shoot, lending a certain weight to each set and understanding how it might be used, trying to project ahead of how it might be blocked, how many vistas you might get, how many times I could open doors and see down a corridor. I thought that was the most interesting way of approaching it. Now, do you want to go and take a walk through the stages? So this is the West Palace set. This set uh, was one of our biggest challenges on the production. We wanted to make the people we were representing feel as if we had done our homework. Our ceremonial hall is huge. It helps me get into the character. Better than my apartment. I can live here, you know. It's cathedral-like. You need lots of space. That's what these stages give us, actually. They're, they're actually quite a treat to work in. The team did a phenomenal job getting everything done. Carpenters, sculptors, metal fabricating, greens, and of course, paint, which is the last layer, which makes everything look perfect. My name is Dean Eilertsen. I'm the property master here on Shogun. It's probably the longest prep I've ever had in my career. I have two buyers in Japan. I tell them what I'm looking for. They research, and then I start making choices. To find something that's complete, to get the mirror, the stand, and the condition it's in, to open the drawers and find the matching logos on all the lacquer work and know that you have a complete set. I mean, that is a hero piece, right? This next episode, we have three scenes with combs. Ochiba is combing the hair of her young son, who is the heir to the throne. We have a scene where Shido is stamping documents. All of those things play so important in the story. Uh, this is called a norimono, and it's basically a carriage. Depending on your status, you were allowed a pole length that other people couldn't use. The crew has tried to understand Japanese culture as much as possible, which I know is very difficult. The biggest challenge of trying to maximize the versatility of everything and imagine four episodes ahead of how I'm going to take a wall out, take a gate out, put some new trees in, and create a different courtyard. It's a cracking good yarn, as my dear father would say. It's a very good story. 
I hope they'll be in awe of the complexity of this society, of the extraordinary world that I hope that we've created that hopefully mirrors what it would have been like in 1600. But I think that they have to be drawn into a very interesting story. The story has to be everything. I hope that audiences will eat it up.